Hey there, welcome back to Pacer Talks About Bullying. I'm Bailey, we're glad you're here. This week, we are excited to bring you another installment of Ask Us, a feature where we answer questions from students all around the country about all things bullying. This week's question comes from Rachel, a high school student. So let's hear what she wants to know. Hi, my name is Rachel, and I think a few questions that people experiencing bullying ask are why me, why does it keep happening, and what did I do? This is a fantastic question, Rachel. Bullying, whether it's physical or emotional, hurts. If you've experienced bullying, you've probably asked this question, why me? Because you know how painful it is to be treated this way. When looking at this question, it's important to remember that bullying can happen to anyone. Bullying behavior can be directed at the shy, quiet student or at the class tough guy. While there could be many different reasons why someone might be demonstrating bullying behavior towards you, the number one thing to keep in mind is that this is not your fault. No one ever deserves to be bullied for any reason. If you're experiencing bullying, know that you have the right to ask for help and to stop what's happening and you don't have to do this on your own. Here are three steps that you can take if this is happening to you. Step number one, along with knowing that being bullied is never your fault, also keep in mind that it's natural to feel a lot of emotions like anger, sadness, fear, loneliness, or confusion. Sometimes we have the tendency to minimize how bullying makes us feel but it's important to pay attention to and recognize your emotions, as well as how the actions of others affect how you feel. Step number two. Next, think about who you can talk to about what's happening. It might be a parent, a coach, a school counselor, a teacher, a doctor, or a friend. Talking with someone can help you address your emotions and think through strategies to help stop the bullying from happening. Having someone else on your team can make a huge difference. And step number three is to be your own advocate. This means asking for what you need, communicating on your own behalf, and telling others what they can do to help. Express your ideas on ways to prevent the bullying that you're experiencing. And learn to respectfully disagree if you don't feel comfortable with other options presented. Your voice is so important, and your opinion on what to do matters. So remember this, you've got this. And that wraps up this week's episode of Pacer Talks About Bullying. I hope that answered your question, Rachel. If you're a student and you have a question to ask, all you have to do is email us your question, either written or in a video, to bullying411 at pacer.org. We'll see you right back here next week, and remember, Together, we can create a world without bullying. See ya!